Hello and welcome. Today's tutorial will be on the IC2 fermenter and on biogas. So first, if we take a look at what machines you will need, you will need the macerator, the canning machine, the bottler or bottle implant from IC2, whichever one, a heat generator, and the fermenter, of course. So if I quickly just show you one of these recipes, Fermenter, you are going to need one heat conductor, three empty cells, and grab yourself a handful of iron item casings. We'll give you one fermenter. You're also going to need to make some empty cells as well. So, the fermenter is used to make biogas. So to get to biogas, first what you're going to need is set yourself up a farm, which I have over here. You're going to go IC2 all the way. You could set it up with the crop monitor and crop harvester, or you could use Mine Factory Reloaded or just a basic farm. So, what we are going to need to do is we are going to need to grab these wheat out of here that I've let it run for a while, and we are going to need to make biochaff. And you can make that with cactus if you want a cactus farm, you can make it with tree saplings here. Or with the leaves over there. So first if we go to the macerator and we chuck all of this in and when that's done its thing we will be back. Sweet as we've made what we need we need the bio chaff. so you're gonna need a lot of this so you're gonna need to get your farm up and running with whatever you want saplings, wheat, cactus etc. So now we've made that, you're going to need a cannon machine if you haven't already got one. And you're going to need water. So if we flick this guy on, fill the cannon machine up with water. And you're going to need to set it to this mode. You can spin through the modes and find which one this is. Next you're going to need to get your bio chaff and place it bang in the center. And there you go, that will chug away and do its thing. And this will give us biomass. So, as you can see, that's continuously filling up with water. And we'll give that a little bit longer, and then we will send it into the bottler. So, how much have we got? Got a fair bit. I would recommend for all of these machines, especially these two, to give them overclock upgrades because they are pretty slow as you can see how much yeah that's a fair amount don't you think why not now if we extract it into the bottler while that's filling up now if we grab a handful a handful of cells fill them up as much as we can. Okay, we've got five there. Can we get six? Yeah, we can get six. So next you're going to need to get your heat generator or you can have a solid heat generator. The solid heat generator to power the fermenter is the slower one, but the electric heat generator is the faster one. So it's pretty good for early game if you want to go that way and of course you're going to need an MFE or whatever so next the fermenter I know it looks quite complicated but it's actually pretty simple the f what you need to place is in here the biomass and there you go away it goes this is the progress bar and there is your biogas and it will generate waste which is a type of fertilizer you can use. So now, if we chuck some of these in here, that's filled up one. That's pretty good. As you can see, there you go. There comes the waste. It looks quite funny, but you know, it's all good. two come on can we get the three so yes 
So I will leave a link in the description about the crop monitor and crop harvester if you don't know how they work, as well as the canning machine. So now we've got some biogas. These are some of the machines you can use. You can use one or two, your two options in industrial craft. You have the you have this machine here, which you can chuck some biogas into it. And away it goes. There you go, it's powering the MF. How much is it giving it? Okay, it's giving it 16 EU, which is not too bad. And then you have the fluid heat generator. You can just chuck two in there. And you can power it with the blast furnace. And there you go, up goes the heat, and then the processing, and then you get your refined iron. So if we can grab one more, can we grab one more? We grab some biomass and some biogas. In here, you can use the biogas engine. So, this will not take biogas, it takes biomass. So, if we chuck one in there, oh no. Anyway, okay. Yeah, so basically you're going to need a bucket, sorry about that, you're actually going to need a bucket, chuck buckets in there of biomass, and then you switch this on, and there we go, off it goes, there you go, and it's powering up your cell, or whatever you want to power. So just as a couple more notes to note, biomass cannot be used as a fuel, must be biogas in the fermenter, I think, from memory. Uh, 10 millibuckets of biomass are processed for 200 millibuckets of biogas in the cannon machine. And the fermenter will collect waste in a form of fertilizer. So, I hope this helped you and you learned something. Until next time, thank you.